Us Weekly has obtained some Im- incriminating uh, evidence mm. of Leanne Rimes cheating on her husband. Uh-oh. Okay. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Her co-star, uh, Eddie Cibrian, mm-hmm. they were at some restaurant in Hollywood canoodling. Mm. Um, Us Weekly has obtained photos of them kissing, holding hands throughout a romantic candlelight dinner. Uh-oh. Now, this isn't just very subtle canoodling. This is some real canoodling. Okay, okay? yeah. So, um... You know, this Eddie Cibrian guy has come out and said, no, uh, I have not had any type of romantic relationship with Leanne Rimes. We're just good friends. If you look at that picture in the bottom, you could see them kissing. Uh, we're just friends. You know, despite our kissing, there's nothing going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Uh, okay. All right. And it's funny because what Eddie has said and what Leanne Rimes has said completely contradict one another. All right. Now, before we get to what Leanne Rimes said, it, of course the publicists are out saying, right. absolutely not true. What are you talking about? That are outrageous, that are ridiculous. Now, at first I read their statements and I was like, man, they're coming out guns blazing. Maybe this thing is totally made up. You never know. Gossip thing. Mm-hmm. You know, they claim Us Weekly does. They also have uh, some sort of grainy video of them in front of a, hot- a motel in Malibu or something. I was like, oh, damn. Mm-hmm. But okay, but I didn't see it, so I said, maybe not, right? Then I read Leanne Rimes' statement. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to read it for you right here. This is a difficult time for me and my loved ones. I would like to assure all of you that this is a place for you. To hear things directly from me, and as you all know, not everything in our lives is always black and white. And she ends by saying, have faith. Which means, yeah, I banged him. Oh, guilty. Right. Guilty. This is a difficult time in our lives. Things are not black and white. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. When do you say things are not black and white? When you're guilty. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 now, was it canoodling? But, 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 but what were we doing in a motel? Was it really black and white? Or was it something in the gray in the middle? No. Was it just, you know, some sort of sexual shenanigans without actually being sex? Adultery, adultery. So, I mean, come on. It's clear as day. You know, and her husband, Dean, has come out uh, on Twitter. He decided mm-hmm. to Twitter it out and wrote, I love my wife. Yeah. I Recently, know. today. I know. I know. God bless your heart. I but know. I, if, you know, if my wife's caught in a motel somewhere, I'm not sure I'm Twittering it out. I don't think that's the direction I'm going. Like, oh, I love my wife. Tweet. <laughs> nah, mm, nah, just, okay, hold up right. now. And has he read this statement by her? I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, who would write this statement if you're Leanne Rimes? If you didn't cheat on your husband. Of course. I mean, well, why would you say that, oh, my God, I'm going through a difficult time and things aren't black and white and have faith and persevere? Blah, blah, blah. That make no kind of sense. Leanne Rimes made a fatal mistake when she was 19 years old. Well, she got married at 19. Well, I mean, that's the thing, right? It, that's People don't. It's the same thing with Levi Johnson and Bristol Palin. Right. Although they didn't get married, they had kids, which is worse, you know. And Leanne Rimes getting married early, all these people. And then they find out, oh, my God, it turns out I was 19. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. It's way, way too young. And, you know, look, I'm going to get broader here on this issue. Part of the problem is that we discourage premarital sex. And I'm being dead serious about this. Think about this for a second. If there wasn't all this pressure in the world, like, don't ever have sex before marriage. If everybody just calmed down and had a little da 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 before marriage, then you wouldn't rush into marriage. Not yes. this, look, I know every situation is different, and it might not necessarily be the case, and I know a lot of people are having sex before marriage anyway. But I think we should encourage premarital sex. Right. Okay, now, I mean, I'm not saying go crazy and grab every other guy that comes around the corner, right? But I'm saying have responsible sex that you are you know, that you are empowered to have and that you feel good about, etc. And then have a number of partners and see what happens. Take your time a little bit. Easy. Take it easy. I agree with you, but I don't think we should encourage it. I just think that we shouldn't really care. I don't think we should encourage it. I don't think we should discourage it. I think we should no. allow people to make rational decisions about their own lives. No, okay? no, no. You see, but that's why I'm going over the top. Mm-hmm. Okay. Once you're past 18, I encourage it. You encourage it. And here's another reason why. One is because I don't want you to get married right away and be like, oh, my God. Blah, blah. But the other reason is... You know how awesome sex is? I mean, why would you deny yourself that? What are you, crazy? Now, again, don't lose your mind and be like, oh, i got to have sex, oh, well, what's happening? I'm going to go nuts, right? Don't be at a 10, be at a 2, right? But at the same time, if you could have, if you could have sex at 19, why wouldn't you? 
That doesn't make any kind of sense to me. Now, look, look, look. If you say you don't want to, well, of course, of course. It's a perfectly good choice. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying if you're going to enjoy your life fully, I would encourage you to have sex.